Peter. I made this Greek urn using papier-mâché and a balloon. I painted it using authentic colours and patterns. My name is Janine. I covered a blue of papier-mâché, cut a hole in the top, stuck on two handles and painted it black and orange. Oh, brilliant art attack. Ancient Greek urns. You know, I love making things look ancient as if they've been dug up from thousands of years ago. Now, to make an ancient Greek urn, just blow up a balloon and then mix some PVA glue in equal parts with water and, yep, you slot the glue onto the balloon and paste on some lengths of newspaper, just little torn bits of newspaper. And the idea is to cover the whole of the balloon in four layers of newspaper and glue papier-mâché. Just go over the whole thing, and when you've covered it in four layers, it won't take long to do that, four layers, just put it to one side and leave it to dry, and when it's dry, the papier-mâché, as usual, goes rock hard. Look at that, it really is quite solid. And you notice I haven't gone all the way to the edge here. I've led, left a sort of ragged opening. Well, that's so I can get my scissors in and pop the balloon. And there it goes. And so you're left with a sort of urn shape with a ragged opening to there. Don't worry about that. We'll meet that up in a minute. And then to make the stand and rim for your urn, just cut two strips of thin card, cereal box card. It's absolutely perfect for this. About the same size as a big ruler. And then just fold them into a loop like that and take them into place. That's a one there. And I'll do the second one very quickly to show you. Just fold it over. You can always put an extra bit of tape on this just to make it really secure. But you know what it's like. We're running out of time, so I've got to do it really quickly. And one of those will be the stand. So it's just a case of taping that onto the bottom of your balloon. And again, you can use lots of tape to do this. I'm just going to do those two bits there to keep it on so it doesn't fall off. And as far as the rim is concerned, there's the stand, as far as the rim is concerned, you just place that over the top. Don't stick that on just yet. Don't tape it on because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw around the inside of that like that just so I can get my scissors in there and trim it off just to that line. And whatever you do, don't trim it any wider than that line, otherwise the rim will fall inside your urn. And when you've trimmed it off and taped the rim on into place, it looks like that. Look at that. There's the rim, and there's a nice, neat opening there, and it stands up perfectly. Then for the handles, just, just tear up half a sheet of newspaper and just twist it into a sausage shape and put one on one side, like that. I've just got some double-sided tape there to stick that onto Shea. You can glue it firmly into place or tape it into place and twist another sheet to the other side, one there like that and there like that. And you know, if you've got anything flimsy like this, if you really want to strengthen it up, what do you do is paste on another layer of papier-mâché onto the rim and onto those handles and the stand and it'll make the whole thing really solid. And when you've done that, just paint it a nice bright orange. Look at that, nice bright orange, and it'll look like clay. And see that extra layer of papier-mâché has really solidified the whole thing. And then you're ready to draw on your ancient Greek design. Now, most ancient Greek pottery was designed with scenes from everyday life. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to do a very simple design of, well, I'm not going to tell you, see if you can guess what it is. Just do a couple of these there. Well, that's to the ancient effect. If you, in fact, if you take a look at the rim, I've cut some snips out. That makes it look even older. Mm. Yes, it's the old Grecian bunch of grapes. And you can always put some simple designs around the rim and the stand. And once you've done that, if you colour your design in black, it looks really authentic and very effective. And when you've done that, it looks something like that. See that? An ancient Greek urn. Very authentic. Try yourself. An ancient Greek urn. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!